Hey, Cody Owen back to talk to you about marketing tips for your lawn care business. Today, we are going to be diving right into the thing that is the core of my business, the thing that I think is the most valuable uh, part of your marketing strategy for your lawn care business. I like this is my bread and butter. This is exactly what I think every lawn care business should be doing, whether you work with Lightspeed Social Agency or you're still doing it yourself. Whatever that looks like for you, this is core to your uh, paid ads strategy. Um, we're going to be talking about how to make your Facebook ads hyper local. We're going to be taking the strategy that worked, you know, 20 years ago, of that every door direct mail strategy of hitting houses in the in the area you want to work in, you know, where you can used to where well, you can still do this, but I think it's much more valuable to do it online. But you can go and you can get the like median income for a given mail route and, and hit it. But the problem with that method is that it uh, inevitably ends in an apartment complex of three or 400 units that are never gonna hire a lawn care and landscaping company while they live there um, because that's not a thing that apartment dwellers have to worry about. So what you wanna be doing is using Facebook's targeting tools to narrow that audience as tight as possible so that we're just hitting the right people. And then that money that would have gone to hitting that apartment complex once lets you hit the three or 400 people that live in the neighborhood that you're going after again. So we're getting the increased frequency, spend our money more efficiently. This strategy is, is exactly what you have to be doing to grow your business. 20 years ago, it was every door direct mail. We wanted to get in front of the right people at the right time. And that was the best way to do it. And now we can do it on the daily. We can get in front of the right people more than once a day in a lot of cases for, for way less money than you would have been spending on an every door direct mail campaign. So this strategy is gonna help us increase density along our route, the thing that helps profitability and maintenance companies. But if you're in landscaping, it's gonna help you, you know, once you've had a project in a neighborhood, you know the people in that neighborhood are gonna to lean toward that level of project, right? So if you install a 30, 40, $50,000, um, you know, hardscape in a backyard or you do a retaining wall, then you know people in this neighborhood are, are interested in that kind of project and you can go after that neighborhood and get more projects there. And being able to say, we worked on, you know, when you're on the call with that person after they've seen the ad and they come through, you're able to say, oh yeah, we worked on Hickory Street uh, for one of your neighbors over there. We installed this for them. It gives you a lot of credibility to be able to point to projects you've done in the neighborhood you're able to use those pictures of things they'll recognize from their area in your ads. And it's so, so valuable for increasing density for maintenance businesses, but also for projects because you know, you know, like Seth Godin has, has always said, like people like us do things like this. So when people in a neighborhood are telling you people like us hire your business, then you need to lean into that. You need to target people in that neighborhood because they want to use your company. They just don't know it yet. And so this is an excellent way to lean into that. Like I said, we're focusing those marketing dollars on the right people. So that means that you could spend less money or what I would recommend is spend the same amount of budget that you would have spent for your every door direct mail campaign or sending out employees to do nine rounds and just focus it on the right people. Hit those people six, seven, eight times before you're on the phone with them so that they are in that window of eight to 11 touches that it takes to actually close a sale. That's what this can do for you. You wanna to have touches everywhere that you can. And on this channel, we're gonna be talking about uh, branding opportunities, building your brand. This is the thing, there'll be a, a link in the, the show notes here to uh, an interview I did with Jacob Godard where we talked about building a brand and getting those touches with potential customers everywhere you can. So branding on the truck, you know, having a yard sign out, then having ads on Facebook and Instagram that follow them across the internet. All of those things are increasing people's awareness of you, helping you build out that top of funnel that you absolutely, you have to build. And it is the number one thing that I see lawn care companies uh, just not caring about, not working on. So without any further explanation of why you should do this, hopefully you're, you're convinced that this is a strategy that you need to at least see if it'll work for you. Um, let's just dive in. Right now I have a, a thing I recorded a while back uh, just explaining this strategy. This is actually what I use to teach employees in my business how to do this targeting. 
So dive in with me, take a look, and I'm gonna walk you exactly through how to do this so that you can implement it in your business. So you'll see that we are in a brand new Facebook campaign here. We're turning on Dynamic Creative, which is the thing we'll talk about in a future video, but super powerful tool to use in Facebook. Scrolling past our budget here into our audience. This is where we're gonna be doing all of our work. So we're gonna get rid of that living in US locations, which is kind of just the default. If you're in a different country, it'll be different for you. We are gonna change it to people living in this location because we don't want people who come to visit, uh, you know, or tourists, depending on where you're at. You know, if you're running a company in Orlando, it might be, it might be a lot of tourists coming through, staying in Airbnbs and stuff. Uh, people who rent, we don't necessarily want to get them. So we're just zooming in on somewhere in the, the Dallas-Fort Worth suburbs here to grab a neighborhood. So now we'll drop a pin. This is gonna be our inclusion pin. So when we drop this, you'll see it has a huge radius. It's plus 10 miles from that. We're gonna drop it down to a mile. Most neighborhoods, in, in my experience, are, are smaller than that mile radius, which means that we're gonna to have to move to exclusion pins. So we'll, we'll drop another pin here, changing it to exclude there in the top left. And we'll drop that to kind of winnow this down. So it's gonna do the same thing 10 miles. You gotta drop it back. And see that intersecting zone, the exclusion is going to take precedence over the inclusion. So what we're able to do there is drop these right along the roadway. You have to reduce it down to a mile each time, but we just keep going, keep going here until we've precisely outlined that neighborhood. And you can watch your audience definition over on the right there, that estimated daily results. We gotta keep that number over 100. We need to have over 100 people in there uh, that it's trying to reach a day. If you get to smaller than 100, then Facebook's gonna have a problem. But yeah, that is how you do it. You can toggle in, kind of change your budget to make sure that you are hitting everybody that you could be hitting. See, our number changed a little bit there when we dropped from 20. It was saying we could hit 295 a day, it's dropped down to 244, so that might be one where you wanna tweak it up a little bit, but anywhere from three to $5 is usually what we want. So hopefully you have uh, at least a little bit of an idea of how to do that hyper-local neighborhood by neighborhood targeting on Facebook now using inclusion and exclusion zones. It is uh, super simple. Uh, once you get a handle on Facebook's backend, it's really easy to implement and so, so powerful, so much better than what a lot of companies end up doing, which is like a radius bomb hitting everybody in their entire service area. Sometimes accidentally they're hitting people outside it, you know, just hitting the entire city limits plus 20 miles is gonna spend money anywhere and everywhere. Facebook doesn't know who you need to be in front of. By narrowing those audiences, you're spending your marketing budget much more wisely. You're, you're getting frequency, uh, increasing the number of times potential customers are seeing you when they are actually potential customers. So coming up on uh, the Lightspeed social agency channel here, we are gonna be doing deep dives into not only how to brand your business and more uh, like on the ground Facebook stuff, we're gonna be talking about how to write ads that actually sell your, your business and your services. We're gonna be talking about how to create creative for the ads, the images and videos that go along with it. Super simple stuff that you can use to set you apart from every other lawn care company in your market. We don't want your flyers to just be clip art of a lawn mower and some grass or, or whatever. We wanna use organic photography of your employees in the field, you in the field, people working, put faces to the company and, and just build a, a, a brand that can grow in your market instead of just being uh, you know some guy that mows lawns. We want them to know you. We want them to know your company and have you stand out from the bunch so that you are who they think of when they need uh, you know, lawn care maintenance, when they need uh, a patio put in, all of the, the stuff that you do in, with your business, we need you to be in front of the right people at the right time as often as possible. So subscribe to the channel here if that is the kind of uh, lawn care content that you know that you need to be consuming to build your business stronger and better than ever going into the next season. Uh, come along for the ride if that's what you're in for.